All right, great. So we uh, we always like to embrace local and uh, local suppliers. So when we started off with Wild Elf, we, you know, we, we took Mad Elf as, as the base and uh, worked with uh, Deer Creek Malting right up the road to come up with uh, an under-modified malt to kind of get us rolling. And then as the beer was fermenting, we um, took a visit to a local orchard down in Peter's Orchard. Um, and he was uh, nice enough to walk us around and we got to try the different cherries and, and kind of pick and choose what we like. So not really realizing every year is going to be a little different. Um, we, we picked one that was awesome, the Balaton cherry. It was super sweet and had a nice acidity to it. And that, that is the backbone of this beer. Um, so with that came in some microflora. This is kind of funk that rode in on the cherries. And, you know, we had a culture of sour beer going here for a while, um, kind of a side project or kind of just a fun thing for us to do. I don't know if many people actually got to try it, but uh, we did. Um, when those cherries rolled in, they actually brought us really nice like uh, character with them. So we, we kind of feel like we have a taste of Pennsylvania now, just, just right in, in Wild Elf, um, which is cool. We can't really get that anywhere else in the world. So, you know, taking that, taking that culture and then bringing that through all of our other sour beers, we're gonna get some really nice uh, unique uniqueness out of it.